Well, a very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever place it is you're tuned on to the show, this is the Life Signatures Podcast. It is a daily show focused on teaching, inspiring, motivating, instructing on these three subjects, purpose, productivity, and resilience. Every working day, we do exactly that. Right now, we are in the throes of closing in on a long series, a very long series begin that began way back in episode number 1912, will you believe it? What have we been talking about? We've been talking about personal blockades, personal blockades. These are very insidious and powerful things that hinder us from becoming the best versions of ourselves and sometimes they run so unconscious we might not even be knowing that they are in existence. So today we are going to start looking about the signs, talking about the signs that there could be a blockade and might be operating under a blockade. What are some of the signs? So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Yesterday we started talking about this and uh, we we say that the most uncertain thing sorry the most the most debilitating thing uh having hindrances is having an hind- a hindrance which you do not know is actually there but it is there it is in operation but you don't know it's one of the most insidious things in life and therefore we need to know we need to have some kind of signs what is it that can show that I am under a particular limitation or another? These are the signs that I want us to start discussing. And I have to explain that it is not easy to see or to notice a blockade in our life. It is not obvious. It is not obvious. That's why I've taken quite a bit of time to talk about these blockades. However, I believe that if a friend of yours will point out any of these seven signs that I'm going to talk about in the next seven episodes, you will stop all the traffic and you will start to consider say wait a minute wait a minute chances are that you might be having a blockade in your system in operation and sometimes it takes an outside force to point it out that's why in organizations there's this thing called appraisals where someone looks at you from a totally different angle you might think that ah, i'm so much performing and i've seen sometimes when you do an appraisal you appraise yourself better and then the higher the hierarchy goes, you know, the lower you receive the marks <laughs> in terms of appraisal. But my point is that there are some signs that we can be able to look at and we can be able to determine that, wait a minute, I might be under a blockade. We should also know that the fact that you have a sign or two in your life does not necessarily mean that a blockade is in operation in your life it's not like that particularly certain it's just that it's a sign it could be there or it could not be there so at the end of the day uh, what i need to 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 have us know is that there is a big possibility that i might be limiting myself one way or another and i have absolutely nothing to lose when i look at these signs when i try to dis diagonize myself even if you misdiagnose yourself as far as this is concerned so if you're ready let's take a dive and talk about the first sign that there could be a blockade in your life 
Sign number one. You are a stickler of culture. <laughs> you are a stickler of culture. You'll get, get your sword and you'll cut someone's ear off to maintain the status quo, to maintain the culture of the day. You are the front, are the front, not only to preach about the culture, but also to protect it at all costs. Doesn't matter how how old that particular culture is. And I know that we need to be careful here because there are some principles that need to extend and they just go beyond any revolution that we have. A principle such as integrity. It, it goes way past, way past the agrarian revolution, way before the agrarian revolution. But it is a principle. That is not necessarily culture. Culture is a way of doing things. It's a fashion of doing things. Generally acceptable and acceptable and you know if you step out of it, it raises eyebrows. Sometimes some people can even be excommunicated from society because they have gone a little bit against the culture of the day. As in you're different. You 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 so anyway, if you are a stickler of culture. Number one, it is not a bad thing. Being a stickler of culture is not a bad thing. It could be a good thing. But in there, it could be a sign that there is a blockade that is, you know, operating in your life and you are propping it up by your stickling for culture. Why? Because when you are a stickler for culture, you don't question new things. Sorry, you don't question the culture in the wake of new things. You don't care about adventure. You don't care about new things. You don't care about the efficient way of doing things. This is what we've always been doing, culture says. If you're always adamant by saying this is how we've always done it, chances are that you might be under a spell of a blockade in your life. You know, Peter Drucker, I've quoted this man over and over again over these episodes that he said that culture eats strategy for breakfast and that's exactly what I'm saying. It eats strategy for breakfast. Strategy might be something good. It might be a better thing but your belief in culture makes that strategy or renders that strategy absolutely useless. If you have a blockade in your life it makes no difference how great your strategy is. It makes no difference how improvements have been made. It makes no difference how efficiency is better. You are faithful to the culture of the day. You will resort back to the default settings, however detrimental it might be, because you are a stickler of culture. I've talked about Nokia. Nokia, their agenda was connecting people. I think it still is connecting people. They, was the, they were the number one mobile telephone company in the world. Number one. If you had a Nokia back then when I was growing up, it would be like someone who has an iPhone 14 today or a Samsung S series today or a Google Pixel phone. That was how Nokia was novel back then. And then there was a revolution that came of smartphones. And Nokia said, no. Mm -mm. We've always been doing things this way. People do not want to move away from buttons on their phones. People do not want a big screen on their phones. Nokia and BlackBerry. By the way, BlackBerry was the corporate SI unit gadget of, well, I don't know. Um, I mean, if you wanted to to really be respected in the corporate world, you, you bought for your employees blackberries. You guy who have seen things in this world. But those two guys are gone. They were sticklers for culture. I can throw in their Kodak. The most insidious thing about Kodak is that an engineer, is it an engineer or whatever it is, a researcher, an employee at Kodak itself, talked about digital photographs to Kodak years ago. They were faithful to their culture, stickler for culture. And that blockade, the cultural blockade operates slowly sometimes and then all of a sudden you're gone. 
we ought to learn to be comfortable changing the way we've always done things. We've got to learn that my village church, they still sing the same songs that I heard them sing 30 years back when I was a child. Same song. Same song. I can actually sing it right now. I can hear it. And I guarantee you, if you go to church, my village church, next weekend, they will be singing that song. My goodness. That's a sign of a blockade. Think of what possibilities await us when we ditch the culture, when we embrace change. Speaking of change in terms of culture, Kirk Franklin sometimes back in the spiritual circles, he came up with this song called Stomp. For those of you who say the gospel music has gone so far, you think we've become so radical with your message, with our message. I've got good news for you. So that's something that he he was talking about in his uh, in his music, and then he started singing the stomp. I heard the mainstream church people saying this is devilish. That was culture. Today, uh, by the way, if, before I can even go to today. You, you, in some circles in, in Christianity, clapping your hand in church, you, you be like a demon, treated like a demon. What's wrong with clapping hands? It's demonic. It's demonic. What's wrong with having, you know? I had a friend of mine in the traditional church telling me that you know, drums and guitars and all these bands in in church they are not good because when you start singing the devil comes be in, in within you i mean amidst you and starts also dancing now that's culture speaking that's a blockade right there in operation i could use very many examples it, it could be an example in your own individual life but as long as me and you are sticklers for culture we risk propping up the blockades of our lives and they will limit us and they will stop us we don't grow because we are respecting the culture of the day we don't mature because we are respecting the culture of the day we don't go past what we know what we could do because we are respecting the culture of the day you get what i'm saying so if we are sticklers of culture it's okay but i'm just saying it could be a sign that there could be a a blockade that we're propping up in our lives. Tomorrow, we're going to look at another sign, but until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.